Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Angel Oracle reading for the month of, beautiful month of June 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos that I do put out on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go up there and press that button. And it will take you to my website, where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a private Reiki session healing with me. Let's go, my beautiful fish, my mermaids and mermen. This is the month of June 2018 for this Angel Tarot and Oracle reading. The beginning of that first week of June, Pisces, you've been given a major card. And this is the High Priestess, my friend. This is all about listening to your own intuition and having patience and considering carefully what it is you want before acting upon it. So um, this is about you knowing that you can tap into the divine sources that be. And Haniel, uh, Archangel Haniel, is the representation of the High Priestess in this Angel Tarot card. And Haniel is uh, the, has the ability to guide you and help you manifest what it is that you want in your life in all aspects of your life if it's relationships if it's job related whatever it is know that you can lean on Archangel Haniel for that so it's about you listening to your own intuition but it's also about you keeping uh, your dreams and your secrets to yourself right now there may be information that you're wanting answers to please know that it will be brought forward at the perfect time okay you will find out what it is you've been wanting to know so have patience okay have patience in the middle of the first week, Pisces, you've been given the Ace of Fire. Fire cards have to do with their self-development, and often uh, in order for us to grow and ascend and evolve, we have to take risks and leaps of faith and go places we normally wouldn't go and do things we normally wouldn't do to help us on our path to do that growth. I do see that there is an opportunity being offered to some of you. It's coming in soon. Uh, they refer to it as an exciting opportunity. <clears throat> I do see it coming in for a lot of you as a career advancement. Some of you may be getting asked to join others uh, and to uh, use your gifts to enhance the company, the business, uh, the <clears throat> this new career. Uh, you need to know that you can accept this. You need to know that this is referred to as an exciting opportunity. You need to know that this is career advancement. Okay, so accept it. Pisces, don't be afraid. Step out there. Step out of your out of your box and do it because it's going to change your life here and now forever. At the end of the first week, Pisces, my beautiful fish, you've been given this. Stay focused. <clears throat> and it is an oracle card from the Ascended Masters. And you, you are all pretty familiar that watch my videos that I do rely on that oracle deck a lot of the times. I have many, but this one speaks uh, many many messages to many people so stay focused Pisces <clears throat> on your endeavor on your passion on your walk on your path stay focused don't allow any of the outside world noise and distractions uh, to veer you off your path uh, it could have to do with uh, this new business uh, venture that you're going on stay focused allow your own intuition and trust your move on your path <clears throat> You've been given another major card, and you've had you four in this reading, Pisces, and this is balance. This is all about you realizing that you need to be balanced emotionally, spiritually, and mentally in order to be physically well and and uh, in, in all your well-being uh, with your health. But it's all about you realizing that things should be done in moderation. Don't jump into that quicksand and then try to think later how you're going to get out while you're sinking. So there isn't a need to realize that while you're becoming balanced and you're doing things, things in moderation, the words cooperation and compromise will come into the equation as well. So it's all about uh, listening to your own intuition, looking at the whole picture with the situation or circumstances in your life right now. Uh, it's all about uh, not jumping in before you think. It's all about waiting for the perfect timing to do this. Okay, so <clears throat> please know that it's all about you being balanced, cooperation, moderation, and compromise. 
In the middle of the second week of June, Pisces, you've been given another major card, and this is strength. And this is all about dealing with any challenges that come into your life. Uh, think about it. Step back, look at the whole picture, like I was saying. And it's about inner strength. It's all about uh, letting go of any uh, inner harsh uh, judgments and releasing them, sending them out into the universe and saying, you know, I can't continue to carry these ill feelings, uh, you know, grief, uh, resentment, <clears throat> um, you know, injustice, whatever I'm carrying because it, I don't own it. I, I, it blocks you. Okay, so you have to release it and let it go. And often when we do that, <clears throat> the word forgiveness comes into the equation and compassion. And you have to be more compassionate and, and more forgiving in order to uh, be able to um, resolve any conflicts that you've been having with others in your life. So please know you will be dealing and tapping into your strength, but it'll be your inner strength. It'll be about, you know, how do I look at this? Do I look at the situation with honey or do I look at it with vinegar? And we all know that when we step back and, and just take that deep breath and allow forgiveness of ourselves and or others could be receiving an apology or you will be giving an apology to someone but it will be your <clears throat> uh, your resolution to any problems and conflicts you're having with people around you beautiful card this is so much how we like to live our life spiritual law of attraction so for all of us that are light workers, all of us that are uh, going through ascension right now, <clears throat> there has been, you know, a major shift uh, since 2012, and there will be more, uh, that has brought some of us light workers to the forefront. We've always known who we were, but, you know, timing is everything on our path before we step forward. And <clears throat> listening to the law of attraction, this is basically what we send out into the universe. Uh, it's going to come back and bite us. And if it's negative energy we're sending out, it will bite hard. If it's beautiful, beautiful, loving energy and positive energy and believing and manifesting and meditating over these issues and, you know, little random acts of kindness and knowing that there is a higher, higher deity, a higher being, a higher energy out there that we can tap into uh, and ask help for because we believe in it, it will happen. The law of attraction has been proven. Um, I've done workshops on it with other people. Trust me. Uh, what we send out into the universe is going to come back and smack us in the face. So make sure, my friend, you don't allow the harsh world out there to fill you with negative energy. Get rid of it. You don't own it. Because you know when you took your first breath of life, all you knew was love. So think back when you were a child. When you were tiny, when you were little, and you had no stress, you had no worries, you had the world hadn't <clears throat> tapped into you yet uh, and filled you with all this negative information out there. Think about the spiritual law of attraction because, you know, there are people that we look at in life that have landed on their feet <clears throat> that, you know, we look at them and say, oh, well, you've always been lucky. Everything's worked out for you. Well, you know why? If you look at how they look at life, they truly believe they're worthy of it, and it's going to happen, and it's going to come. And I and I, I, <laughs> I coach people about this all the time that are looking for jobs, and I say to them, is it your dream job? Do you really need it? Do you really want it? Is this, are you sure? And then I tell them, before you turn that door handle and you go in there, own it. Believe it. It's yours. And nine out of the ten times, they do, and it happens. So the spiritual law of attraction does work. Please, this is, <clears throat> this is the divine sources that be, and this is the universe telling you, Pisces, to let go of any ill feelings you have right now, any negative energy that you've enabled and allowed to come in. We, as Pisces, are extremely sensitive. We're the sponges of the sea. So remember, we can also enable that negative energy <clears throat> and drama of others to uh, seep into those holes in our sponges. Let it go. <clears throat> The third week of June 2018, Pisces, you've been given a fire card, and this is the Page of Fire. And this may have to do uh, with an, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius individual coming into you. And um, they are going to be delivering you some information, and it's going to be news of an exciting new endeavor. They may be uh, a person who's going to um, get involved in you and in, with you in this endeavor. And when it comes in, you're going to be able to apply your own ingenuity and your own creativity with this. 
but please know that <clears throat> this person will be outgoing, creative, confident, and, and oftentimes fun and mischievous, uh, this page of fire coming in. And pages are usually a little bit younger. They're playful. They're childlike. They can be male or they can be female. And that's how I look at pages in all these suits. So please know that um, you're going to have some fun with this new endeavor, and uh, it's going to be exciting for some of you. So... Uh, get ready, you're going to be hearing from this uh, page of fire, this uh, person coming in, this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian. <clears throat> in the middle of your third week, you've been given a, another major card, and this is the Dreamer. And Pisces, boy, we are the dreamers in the Zodiac. That's, that's a given. <clears throat> you know, we swim, we're elusive, we're in those waters, and we flow, and we love it. And then when things don't work out right, we just turn around and we're gone in a flash. So the dreamer is all about letting you know. <clears throat> For some of you that are thinking of taking a leap of faith right now, know that it's the right time to do it. Uh, know that you're on the right path. Know that it's meant to happen right now, okay? You need to follow your dreams because it shows me there will be some unexpected resources coming in to assist you with that. That could be in the form of, you know, someone uh, uh, getting involved with you and donating uh, their time uh, or their wisdom to help you with this endeavor. For others, I see it coming in as some sort of resources in the form of money that is going to be there to help you move forward with it. So <clears throat> the dreamer is all about never giving up, always uh, keeping your dreams within you because that's what leads you towards your goals, these dreams, the, the passion part of our lives. So know that uh, you can take this leap of faith because you think it is a leap of faith right now and it's all about timing on your path and this is saying you can do it now, okay? Timing is perfect for you to take this leap of faith. <clears throat> How ironic, after the dreamer, you got follow your heart. So this is all about allowing your dreams to come into the forefront and knowing now that you can let that happen. This has been inside you. This has been your passion. This is perhaps you haven't wanted to step out and let the world know and emerge uh, who you really are and what it is you want to do. And <clears throat> it's all about making yourself happy, Pisces, and not allowing the negative opinions of others to diminish your light. So please know that it's all about you following your heart. And that may have to do with spiritualism. That may have to have... That may have to do with ascension and finding your <clears throat> your greater good and looking towards uh, the divine for that help and reaching out uh, to your guides and angels and the divine spirit that be. So follow your heart, my friend. I know that you uh, will take your brain along with you. That's what I tell people, follow your heart. But please take your brain with you when you're getting involved often in relationships with new people. But the dreamer is telling you prior to this that, Timing is right on your path to take that leap of faith. And now you'll be able to follow your heart and your dreams. <clears throat> At the beginning of the final week of June 2018, you've been given an Earth card. And this, Pisces, is the Ten of Earth. And this is showing me that uh, you've reached a point, some of you, in your life, a lot of you, where <clears throat> you are ascending and you are uh, finding your peace and your bliss in your life. And it has to do with a happy home life. Uh, it shows me that some of you are in a really good place with your home life, and it is going to improve from here on. I do see some of you will be receiving uh, abundance in the form of financial um, financial benefits as well, that um, you're going to be more secure now because there will be um, uh, either a second income or some sort of monies coming into you <coughs> for some of you. Now, no matter how much we have in our lives financially, or we feel we're in an absolutely perfect place in our family. You need to st still step back and allow that dreamer to come out again, okay? Allow the inner child to come out again. Allow yourself to enjoy the little things in life. Those things that used to make you happy, as I say in the hungry years. Those things that brought you <clears throat> to a, a fun place. Think about those things when you didn't have the money to go and buy what it is you want. And, uh, you know, you, you may need a little bit of a challenge. You may need to be pushed out there to think and say, okay, what did I do? I went, oh, I did that. That was so fun. It was packing a picnic and going and, going and sitting on the beach or bird watching or taking a walk or a bicycle ride or <clears throat> getting involved in a charitable situation and organization. Anything that Pisces that you feel brought you joys, brought you 
to a point where you enjoyed yourself immensely. The little things in life. Never forget what got you to where you are today. In the middle of the last week of June, you've been given the Nine of Air, and this is your only Air card, your only Justice card, the card that has to do with dealing with legal issues and courts and things like that, or having to defend yourself on your platform uh, uh, and standing up for your beliefs. Um, it could have to do with um, dealing with people around you that bring in challenges where you are forced to make decisions and uh, choices that are determined around them. So again, I've been speaking about letting go of any negative energy surrounding you and any drama that other people dump on you with their wheelbarrow that you don't own and they expect you to clean it up. So please let it go. Some of you have been dealing with issues like that and I see you're expecting the worst to come out of a situation and it could have to do with a legal situation and you're losing sleep over it. So please know you need to be balanced. You need to get your rest so that you are spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically strong enough to stand up and defend yourself and, and get through these challenging times. So please do not lose your sleep. It shows me that these people that are brought in these challenges uh, uh, into your life, they're not losing their sleep. They're sleeping soundly, they're going to bed and everything's hunky-dory and you're the only one enabling that negative energy to keep you from your rest. Please know this comes as a cautionary uh, warning to from the universe and the divine sources to let you know that you need to get your rest, my friends. So Pisces, you are extremely sensitive. You take on all those energies of the world. You are comprised of all the other 11 signs. There's a little bit of everybody in us. So we tend to be, <laughs> we tend to vibrate at a higher level for sure. So please, please get your rest, my friend. <clears throat> your final card for the end of March 2018 Pisces and this is the Ascended Masters Oracle card you've been given and the word is yes. So basically if there was a question you needed an answer to that is the card that's saying the answer will be yes. Uh, say yes. Say yes to things that are coming down your path. Say yes to your passions and the positive energy that you're allowing to come in. Say yes to the new people you're meeting on your path that have the same integrity and morals that you do. Say yes Say yes to allow the positive energy with the spiritual law of attraction to come into you. So stay focused this month. Uh, always know that you have to, uh, we project how we, we project on the outside what we're thinking and feeling on the inside. So please make that positive. Uh, follow your heart. Know that your dreams can come true because it is the right time on your path. Now things will be coming in that you've been dreaming about wanting to happen. And the answer to a major question in your life is yes. Yes, things are going to get better. Things are happening. Your dreams are coming into focus and you're ascending, my friend. This is an amazing month for some of you Pisces. Please know this is a general reading, as I said, and if you want a private reading with me, you can go up there and press the button. I wish you a great remainder to today, uh, Pisces. I hope that you swim into a beautiful, optimistic, positive month of June. And I'll see you again in July. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my Pisces.